a girl rolls a ball up an incline and allows it to return to her. For the angle theta and ball involved, the acceleration of the ball along the incline is constant at 0.25 g, directed down the incline. And this is the key to solve the problem. Constant at 0.25 g and down along the incline. If the ball is released with a speed of 4 meters per second, which is our V0, determine the distance as it moves up the incline before reversing its direction. And here is our hint. V before reversing direction is equal to zero. Before going to the next part, let's solve this part first. So the final V is zero. Initial V is given. A is also given. We're only left with S to be found. Note that this equation is our clear choice because no time is involved in the problem yet. Assuming positive going up, we substitute the values, making sure that acceleration is negative because it's directed down the incline. By solving, you will get S equals 3.26 meters and make sure that all signs are making sense to you before moving to the next part. Next, the question asks for the total time t required for the ball to return to the child's hand. By returning to the child's hand, we know that from start to finish, the displacement is equal to zero. And the only equation that has time and displacement is the second equation. Therefore, assuming same positive direction, S minus S naught or delta S is equal to zero. V naught is four and A is minus 0.25 G. The time is found to be 3.26 seconds. Note that we can take advantage of symmetry also here because of energy conservation. So instead of the second equation, we'll use the first equation with V naught equals four and final V of minus four because it points down and you'll end up with the same solution of 3.26 seconds.